Good morning, folks. We had two long-duration solar flares produce CMEs yesterday. We had a magnetized stream of solar wind spark a geomagnetic storm. We'll look at sunspots, which have surged to levels not seen in 20 years. We'll check out snow coverage data and get a fun tidbit on global cooling, which is now a thing. But let's start with our star. You see in 193 angstroms, the first long-duration flare came at the sunspots departing on the south, bottom right. It is followed by another one, top left, at the incoming sunspot group. Both of these released CMEs, so let's first take a peek at the GOES X-ray flux chart. On the right, we see both long-duration flare events, not the impulsive spikes we've seen with most of the flares so far. Let's watch those flares a bit better here in the high-energy 131 angstrom view. Not a quick flash, but sustained brightness at the bottom right, and then top left sunspots and you can see the plasma motions and a bit of the ejections here in the ionized helium of the 304 angstrom view. Soho coronagraphs have updated enough to show that the bulk plasma in the eruptions are heading right and left respectively. No direct hit major impacts expected but solar wind is almost certainly disturbed between them may take a glancing blow from one or both of those. We still expect more activity from the active regions as the sunspot number stands at 170 this morning. Lots to watch and enough morphing that any of them could be the culprit for the next flaring event. Speaking of disturbed solar wind, a previous CME which did not come our way sent a magnetic shockwave through the solar wind stream called an interplanetary transient and it arrived last night sparking minor geomagnetic storms and aurora. It is already waning back here this morning. It is all eyes on the sun as the solar risk is as high right now as it's been for quite some time. Expect more solar flares and hopefully they do not put major CMEs out in our direction. Let's head next to the Rutgers Snow Lab. If you have ever wondered why climatologists only chirp about spring snow cover on the decline, it's because the other seasons don't fit their narrative. Winter snow is on the upward trend, and we just got the fall 2022 data in, and we continue the upward trend there as well. Link to the Rutgers Snow Lab is found below in the description box. Many of you have likely seen some version of this. While global warmists are yapping about how the last eight years were the warmest on record, those eight years actually show a slight decline in temperatures over that period. But a better and more concrete analysis that doesn't depend on cherry picking which year we start to make judgments comes in nature. The greening of Earth slows down global warming, including them noticing a slight cooling impact already to the environment. And that greening is the undisputed result of both the slightly warmer last couple decades and the increased carbon dioxide. This is yet another of Earth's safety mechanisms that take a decadal trend in temperatures and mitigate and push the planet back in the other direction. We greatly appreciate your support. Below the video in the description box, you'll find links to our playlists, our books, merchandise, the one-on-one -on -one calls with me, and much, much more. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.